Shaders is out in Minecraft 1.20. Let's go ahead and get it installed. Now, first things first, you'll need to download a shaders pack. And all of these here are shaders packs. This link is the second link in the description down below. And this will take you here. You'll have the in-depth guide on how to get shaders at the top. You can scroll down and find all of the best shaders packs for Minecraft in 2023. These are truly incredible. BSL shaders, makeup ultra fast shaders, Dr. Destin shaders. There's so many amazing shaders out there. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab BSL shaders. We'll also grab makeup ultra fast. And then let's grab uh, something down here towards the bottom. Maybe we grab the vanilla plus shaders or we'll go Yo FPS because it's more of a higher FPS shaders pack. Now when you click that you may notice that 1.20 isn't specifically mentioned but that's okay because just because 1.20 is not specifically mentioned doesn't mean that it doesn't work. A lot of shaders packs will work for versions all the way back to 116 all the way up to 120 and they'll work fine. So don't worry about that. Best thing you can do is install a shaders pack. If it doesn't work, you can always take it away. But all the ones that are on our website are confirmed working. Now let's just go ahead and click on download here and the download will begin after a few seconds. While this is downloading, have a message from our sponsor, our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown .xyz sgh to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, you will find high quality hardware, amazing live chat support. And if you wanna add mods, plugins, mod packs, anything like that to your server, we support it all with one click installation of mod packs and easy version switching as well. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to get your own server up and running quickly and easily. Nevertheless, as you can see, this shaders pack is downloaded. BSL shaders is a bit different when it comes to downloading. You'll need to click BSL shaders here, and then you want to click the download button. And then finally, scroll down and click download via Modrinth. They'll then take you off to Modrinth where, if you verify that you're human, you can download it by clicking the download button here. Nevertheless, once that has downloaded, we can also grab Makeup Ultra Fast. It's the same as the other shaders. Just click the download button and the download will begin. Now, with all of our shaders packs downloaded, there's one more thing we need to get and that is Optifine. The third link in the description down below will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Optifine. The 1.20 tutorial will be here whenever you arrive at this page. And yeah, this goes over everything you need to know about getting Optifine. We're going to go over the basics in this video, but if you have any issues, this is the guide for you. Nevertheless, once you're here, click on the yellow download Optifine button to be taken to Optifine's official download page. Now, the time I'm recording this, Optifine and Shaders just came out about two to three hours ago. So for that reason, Optifine is in beta, basically. It's in preview. And so that means you don't have a version listed here unless you click on the preview versions link here. When you click on that, it's going to expose this, which is the 1.20 version of Optifine. If you don't have this here, that's a good thing. The process is exactly the same, except you'll just skip selecting preview versions and you'll just have a version listed. Nevertheless, once you've found the version of Optifine for 1.20, click on the mirror link and that will take us to the 1.20 download page for Optifine. On this page, wait a few seconds and click on the download button. When you do, Optifine will begin downloading in the bottom left of Google Chrome or the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. You may have to keep or save the file depending on your browser. With Optifine downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We want to move Optifine as well as all of our shaders packs to the desktop just because it's easier to manage everything there. It's going to be found in your downloads folder. Just open the start menu, search for downloads. There it is. And here are all of our files. We downloaded our three shaders packs as well as Optifine. Let's move these to our desktop. Like I said, just because it's kind of easier to manage everything here. Now we're going to be starting off with Optifine. So to do that, just right click on Optifine, click on open with, click Java and click OK. That's going to open up the Optifine installer unless it doesn't. And if you don't have Java, you can't open up the Optifine installer. What you need to do is get Java 17. This is required for Minecraft mods and obviously Optifine and shaders are Minecraft mods and modifications to Minecraft so you need Java 17 here. This in-depth guide goes over everything you need to know about getting it. In some cases you may need to run the jar fix as well. That's linked in the description but only run the jar fix after you get Java 17 and if you can't open up Optifine. But nevertheless here we are the Optifine installer is open. All you've got to do in here is click install and it will install Optifine. That is unless, again, it doesn't. And the reason it might not is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20 before. If that's the case, go play it. Just open up Minecraft 1.20 to the main menu, close out of it, and then come back, reopen up Optifine, and install it like so. However, it also may not work if you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open. If that's the case, close out of those and reinstall Optifine. Nevertheless, click OK here, and Optifine will close. We can now delete Optifine from our desktop.
Let's get these shaders packs installed. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and then we want to play Minecraft with Optifine. So how do you do that? How do you play Minecraft with Optifine? Well, you're going to have an Optifine installation. By default, it's probably going to be selected. As you can see for us here, it is Optifine, and then under that, it says 1.20 Optifine. If you've got that, click play and click play again. But if you don't, come up here to installations. Now, you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if we deselect modded, it's not there. If we check modded, hey, there's Optifine. Click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine here, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it simpleagamehosting.com. And then for our version drop-down box, you want to go ahead and click on the release 1.20 Optifine version here. For me, it's at the top. You may need to scroll down a ways to find it. I'm also going to change our resolution. That's just so you can see better once we get in game. And then now we have this simplegamehosting.com installation that most importantly is 1.20 Optifine. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open. That's the hard part. The hardest part's getting Optifine. From here, installing shaders is super easy. So I'll meet you on the main menu to do exactly that. And from the Minecraft main menu, just go ahead and click on options and then click on video settings. From there, click on shaders. And this is where we can install our shaders packs. Well, specifically, we can install them by clicking the shaders folder button in the bottom left. This will open up this. This is our shaders packs folder. Drag and drop any shaders packs you want into this shaders packs folder, right like so. When we close out of this, here they all are. We have BSL, Make It Ultra Fast, and Yo FPS Low here, which is just a high FPS sort of shaders. Let's go ahead and click on BSL shaders. That will select the shaders pack, and now we can go ahead and click done and go check this out in game. What's really cool about shaders though, is you can actually change your shaders pack in game as well as customize all sorts of shader settings. So when we join in with BSL shaders here, it's, it's like really kind of gray and dark. And I think that's mostly because the weather is not, you know, kind of favorable in Minecraft right now. But even still, what if we wanted to change some stuff about this? Well, we can go into options, video settings, shaders, and not only can we change shaders packs, on the right hand side we have some stuff, but in the bottom right we have shaders options. And this is where we could, for example, set the low profile. This is going to give us more FPS, but kind of make the shading and things look a bit worse. It's a trade-off, right? If we wanted to change our shaders packs, we could do that. We can go in here to shaders. We can change to makeup ultra fast. And one of the coolest things is if we go into shader options on makeup ultra fast, we could change this to our low or shadowless effects. Why would we do that? I really don't know. But as you can see, it removed all of the shadows there. But that doesn't look that great. You can go into shader options again and change this to the shadows or medium setting and the shadows are back. So, so many options, so much different stuff that you can do. And it's really cool that you can kind of change your shaders pack live in game, play with the settings, everything all without leaving Minecraft. So as you can see, there's not as many options in UFPS here. Every shaders pack is different, but if we want to turn off the waving grass, we can do so. The grass is still, but I believe these are still going to be moving. Maybe not. It seems like that was all affected there. But nevertheless, that's how you can change your shaders options and add shaders to Minecraft 1.20. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. My name is Nick, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.